Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with an explosive backstage update as it concerns the firing angle with Ryback, Dolph Ziggler, and Eric Rowan. A backstage WWE creative update, all the latest news, rumors, and headlines. Remember to subscribe to this channel for all the latest WWE. Uh, according to PW Insider Elite, go check them out. Go subscribe to them right now. It was noted last week that the You're Fired storyline with Ryback, Ziggler, and Rowan was expected to, to be resolved around the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view so that all three superstars would be in the 30-man Royal Rumble match to uh, you know fill up the spots. PW Insider reports that the three fired superstars are not backstage and are not scheduled for tonight's Raw in New Orleans. They have also been pulled from all WWE live events. The belief in WWE Creative is that they will be back next Monday. No word yet on how they will be used next week, but it could be something like them sitting in the crowd or invading the show. Some kind of storyline developed that will end with them being brought back to the WWE. And once again, this storyline made no sense. We've seen this time and time again. It's been rehashed. It's been reused. It's something that just doesn't add up. Back in the Attitude Era, it was it was cool to see. Even back, you know, even even in some of the 2000s, it was cool to see. But it's been rehashed. There's no believability to it no more. Uh, you know, fans are too smart to know that. There's no way that they would fire, you know, at least two out of the three top talents. Eric Rowan, I think he's got a long way to go. And I don't know how far he's going to go in the company. But Ryback and Dolph Ziggler, as soon as they were getting built up, as soon as the WWE looked like they were, you know, investing a lot of time and effort into them, they were, you know, putting them in, putting them in good storylines and good matches and, and good predicaments, and then all of a sudden they get fired. So then once again, they have to rebuild themselves back up again because the WWE powers that be just like to regulate these guys to mid-card hell curtain jerkers or to be made to look like a joke or not used at all or they fire them it made no sense there's no logic behind the storyline it fell flat it wasn't a good way to start the year so hopefully the wwe can correct those wrongs but is it already is damage control already been done the wwe powers that be made a major mistake by firing firing these guys when they were going on you know a collision course when they were once again, you know, getting over and the, and the fans were taken to them. As soon as the fans take to them, you fire them. They're going to be brought back now. So this whole storyline just made no sense. They shouldn't have went down that route. But once again, that's the WWE's logic. But it's, it's good to know that they're coming back. But they just should have never been fired in the first place. Because you know they're not going to be fired for no more than 30 days. Subscribe.